if I'm blurry or not. <coughs> Excuse me, I am sick. I don't know if it's a cold or if it's just allergies. So excuse me, excuse my appearance. I just don't feel good. But um, this is like my first impressions of the Savage Seamless Paper. This is the color Mocha. <coughs> excuse me. This is the color Mocha. The pink one is called Coral. So the issue is with Coral, it is completely dented. Okay. The dent is so deep that if I keep unrolling the paper, that crease is all the way through the entire roll of paper. So there is no, let me just roll it out and, you know, cut off the damaged part. No, because the whole roll is like dented. Like, it's supposed to be a circle. Excuse me. This is a circle, okay? It's dented okay so it's not gonna work I thought about for a second well it'll be all right maybe I'll just leave that side you know to the side no I'm not really for that like I'm not gonna accept that so I'm about to contact the company and see what we need to do for them to return it and then ship me myself because <coughs> I'm not happy so it could have been the actual company and I ordered from B&H Photo in New York, New York. It could have been them, but more than likely it's UPS with a raggedy handling of people property. Like um, my dad basically said he threw it so hard he thought somebody was like banging on the door like he just threw it against the door and just ran off like they usually do you know throwing people stuff on the porch and then just running off if the box say fragile why would you throw it that does not make any sense like i know y'all on the time schedule or whatever but be careful with people's stuff because i'm sure they handle their own stuff with care so why are you throwing items like that just doesn't make sense every box of shoes that i get delivered to my house <coughs> Nine times out of ten, the box is dented, and I damn near can't even use it because it's so broken. And it's always uh, because the delivery person does not handle things with care. It's like ridiculous. Like, how many customer complaints do y'all have to get to y'all realize? Place somebody's stuff down. Don't just throw it. Like, that's super irritating. The funny thing is, though, this is the box for the mocha shade which is this which i don't really care for because i feel like it does nothing for my skin tone and i and i just wanted to do a quick update on my experience buying items from b h photo i keep wanting to say b h camera but it's b h photo but anytime i buy like a new lens new lighting a new backdrop or a diy backdrop or whatever i try to share that with you guys especially up and coming um, youtubers even though my numbers aren't big at all i'm just saying i started out literally with nothing and as time went on i just started to buy more stuff for my setup so this is the backdrop that i exchanged um and i use the bunny quotations because the bunny ears or whatever because as you guys know when i opened up the mocha backdrop i ordered mocha and i ordered um whatever that other color is that i already showed you guys in a previous clip or i don't know how i'm gonna edit this but that pink backdrop that light pink backdrop um i think it's called rose it was trash like i got it that day I, whenever I got it, I opened it that day, did not push it down the steps, push it up the steps, didn't kick it, didn't drop it, nothing. So when I opened it and it had like a huge dent from like one side to the next, I already knew when I unraveled the paper that it would have creases in it. And there was no way that I was just going to be like, I'm not going to keep it, or I'm going to keep it, and you know, it'll be okay. 
No, because I paid for it. I wanted it to look nice. So uh, I went ahead and contacted the company on my lunch break one day. And I asked them if I could do like an exchange because I actually wanted the product. The product is nice, it's quality, and it's very affordable. So he said that um, I only had like a, he couldn't guarantee an exchange or whatever, which I kind of didn't understand why. But I had to wait like a few days to even reach them because they went on their religious holiday and nobody was at their location which they are located in New York so I waited contacted the guy got super busy between work and school and did not end up sending them a picture of the damaged item until a few days later I just asked if I could exchange one color for this color and this color is called tulip and I like this pink way 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 more than the other pink this one I just feel like it's it's better suited for my skin tone mocha I was kind of iffy about because I wanted a brown neutral color but then it was just like kind of plain but when I actually filmed with that uh, backdrop I do like it I kept it and I'm not going to exchange it the thing is they didn't ask to pick up the damaged backdrop so I need to contact the company because I don't want them thinking that I kept the product and try to like take the money out of my account or anything or like have to do like a dispute or anything because honestly you can take it um, if you are giving it to me if the company's giving it to me nobody really stated that the only email that I got was saying that they had already shipped the backdrop and that was last Friday and today is the following Sunday so literally it did take a week to get this new backdrop so whatever no complaints I don't have to pay for it because I pretty much did pay for it the first time I just need to really know if um, I should send back to the backdrop I don't know kind of feel like they should just pick it up when they drop this one off don't know but that wouldn't be um, out of the ordinary for a company to just let you keep a damaged product because when I ordered from Society6, I didn't too much care for the marble backdrop that you always see me filming with. It's like white and it has like gray. It kind of looks like clouds, but it's actually supposed to look like marble. I didn't care for it just because it didn't come out the way I thought it would. And they let me keep that tapestry. It's actually a tapestry. It's really not a backdrop, but I use it as a backdrop. They let me keep that tapestry and refunded me my fifty dollars because that tapestry was fifty three dollars and shipping and handling so overall 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 i am pleased with b and h photo i plan on ordering more savage seamless paper the only complaint that i have is the fact that the packaging could be better like it's literally just a box there's no foam wrap, there's no uh, whatever that puffy white stuff is, I forget the name. Like, it could be packaged better instead of it just being bounced around in the box. And you know UPS, UPS, you know, USPS, FedEx, DHL, all them carriers, they literally throw your stuff and they have no care about how your stuff or your products will come out like they literally launch it from the driveway to your um, porch or the back door or whatever they just leave it there and it's already crumbled I cannot tell you how many boxes that I've gotten from like Urban OG or Gojane or whatever I don't have shoe boxes because they are completely trashed by the time they get to my house so I'm not even I really wasn't even upset with B&H photo it was more the fact that I know nine times out of ten either the product was damaged when it left New York or whoever the carrier was was careless with my item and that's why it was so damaged this item does have a rip in it already 
right where the tape is to like keep the um, paper together or rolled together or whatever. It already had a hole in it, so we ain't starting to lose some, but this color is Amazeballs. And I have a ring light on low and two soft box lights. And my windows are like one right here, one in front. And it's kind of like sunset right now. So yeah, that's just what I wanted to share with you guys. They are $27, $39, $27, 39 cents or something like that a piece for this size. I'll leave all of the information on the screen or in the box or in the description box. Everything will pretty much be in the description box. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below and I will answer them. But yeah, right now I have three backdrops. Don't know if I get to keep the other one. If I do, I just somehow manipulate it so you can't see the little creases because it's literally throughout the entire roll of paper. So yeah, but I do like this. It's really pretty, very thick, nice. I like it.